So I had to make this little video and insert it. I had a bunch of videos that I stitched together and I added them all up and they were like 40 minutes. So that's a little bit too long for, uh, for my channel. So I had to drop the last three. So I'm making this little video to go in front. So thanks for tuning in again, part two um, of the carb thing. You'll see the, I had good luck. I won't spoil it for you. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, and uh, look at that thing. Ain't that cool? Yeah, like the tank. Thanks, Sean, Nonstock Customs. All right, here we go. Um, continuing on, hopefully this is the last chapter, putting this carburetor back together. Uh, it's a diaphragm operated carburetor. It's a CV, Klein CV. Um, I cleaned it, it's all put back together. I had to order a new diaphragm uh, because the old one like I've shown you, the other ones is ripped, so no good. So uh, this is uh, I'm gonna do this kind of live uh, in front of your eyes, and uh, I've did it once with the chopper. I put a new diaphragm on the slide. Um, there's a lot of places that say that you can't change these things. Um, anyways, I watched a video of a guy doing it on YouTube, and uh, YouTube's your best friend. Um, so yeah, I did it. It's there. It's running. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll move the camera a little bit and get it down close and see if you can see how I'm going to do this. And uh, hopefully it works. Uh, all right. Stand by. All right. So here we go. So there's a little slot right there. Right there that diaphragm fits in and what you do is you stretch it and get it started which I just did so I'm gonna hold that and stretch it all the way around stretch it stretch it hopefully it's going in um, hopefully it's going in um, all the way and you know what oh no 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 you can see on the back that I didn't quite get it right there you can see Tell you. So, if you can see that, it's completely in there. That's a hundred percent correct. Wow. Wow. So, hey, hey, here we go. So, hopefully, this is the last chapter um, of me putting this back together. So, here we go. It's a CV carburetor. It's a vacuum operated carburetor. I uh, I was able to put the, uh, the diaphragm, the new diaphragm on this. It's easy. You just stretch it, stretch it in. This is a new diaphragm. Here's the old one. The old one was all ripped. Garbage. So I ordered this. It came in and I stretched it in there. It worked good. Um, they say you're not supposed to change these or you can't change these. Well, I figured it out. And uh, yes, uh, with the help of uh, YouTube, I saw somebody do it and whatever, I did it. So uh, I'm gonna show you putting it back together and it's gonna be complete here shortly. So um, I got a little oil I found, Harley Lube. Hardly lube. <laughs> so uh, I put a little on the slide because it slides up and down. 
Why not? Why not? All right, so uh, the first thing to go in is the needle. Should be loose. It's loose. So that goes in. This goes in one way only. Uh, those slides are a little off center. Uh, so it goes in. So it doesn't go in this way, it doesn't fit. Can you even see it? No, can't see it. So 180, get it in the hole, motion tube, bang, it's in. So the next thing to go in, let's tilt this down a little bit so you can see what's going on. Maybe come in a little closer. Um, I'm actually doing something, go figure. So this it has a groove that it has to sit in. Um, you don't want to pinch this diaphragm with the lid, with the cover. So it's in there now. This little uh, plastic piece drops in. Make sure you don't cover up the vacuum port, which it's good. I can see it. You can shine a light through. I don't know if you can see this or not but it's not covered up. That's a good thing. That's off. We're still good. The spring. The, the diaphragm is still in its groove. The lid's got a little boss on it for the spring. You push it down and that is it. We are good. You can even hear. So I got a bunch of new bolts here. I had to grind the washers because they were a little wide. Um, they were hitting on the side cover. So uh, I ground, I filed them a little bit. But that's what you got to do, right? One more right here. Roll the washer to the flat spot. There it is. Um, we are we are in good shape. You can tell it's not pinched because there's no space. And uh, I got one bolt left to put on the back, but I got to put this bracket on. This is how I take the, the cables on and off. Uh, I, I undo the bracket and the cables are sitting in that. So I'll put that on, on the bike. Um, so there we go. It's back together. New diaphragm. The butterfly, all nice. I even lubed it a bit. New choke cable. It's going to be good. All right. Well, um, I guess the, uh, the next video will be, uh, me starting that thing. I don't think you need to watch me put it on. It's pretty easy. It just it pushes onto the manifold. You put your cables and everything on it, push it on the manifold. Then you start putting your breather and stuff on. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I, uh I JB welded the uh, the back plate. This is good. It's good. That piece and that piece. No excess. That's good. So the carb the carb goes on, and then uh, well, I don't know. Oh, there it goes like that. And there it is. Bingo. Bingo bango. Anyways, uh, let me tell you something. Just for two seconds. 
I like watching YouTube. Um, I like watching bike builds and modifications, and I like, uh, I'm not into corporate or Hollywood or freaking, but uh, Billy Lane, Billy Lane is, uh, is a guy that I've been following since probably 2003 or something like that. Him and Indian Larry had a biker build off on Discovery Channel. And uh, yeah, it's all about TV and ratings and all that stuff. But I gotta tell you, Billy Lane, I've been following him and I don't know why I've been following him. I just like the way he speaks. I like the way he does things. He's, uh, he's a badass chopper builder. Uh, Indian Larry, well, everybody knows about Indian Larry. He had an unfortunate accident doing, doing a trick on his bike standing on the seat. You should have realized that that was cool to do when you're young and good and all your senses are at 100%. But when you get older, maybe some of your senses don't aren't at 100% anymore. And anyways, he had an accident, he was killed. So no more Indian Larry. But the biker build off from 2003 with Indian Larry and, uh, and uh, Billy Lane, Choppers Inc. Um, it was a good episode. And, 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 and Billy Lane is building a badass chopper. And he was trying to go above and beyond, big engine, big carbs, everything. He was having starting problems. He broke two main shafts in the transmission, kickstarting this thing. Uh, it was a beast. Had two great big carburetors on, uh, big big CC uh, engine, lots of horsepower, just a crazy machine. Anyways, they were having big time trouble. So Discovery, the channel that was producing this show, well, were giving them giving them a hard time. And he was like, you know, you got to either bail or concede or you gotta you know you gotta we gotta get your bikes to Sturgis and Indian Larry was trying to help him get the bike going and everything you know and uh they said here's the route you're gonna take to Sturgis we got a helicopter boot booked and you're gonna fly we're gonna do some filming and and they got halfway there and they said yeah we're not going that way it's a cement highway it's a ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba on a bike dangerous um so they said, we're going another way. And they said, no, you're not. You're going the way we tell you to go. And Billy and Larry said, I don't think so. We're going the way that we want to go that's safe, through the mountains, more scenic, blah, blah, blah. And there's a section in that, in that, in that, in that show where there's buffalo crossing the highway. And the only reason that happened is because they said, screw you, Discovery. And they friggin' drove the way they wanted to drive. Uh, and, and they got there to Sturgis the back way and got there safe. And Discovery, you know, their phones were blowing up, is what Billy says. And anyways, uh, uh, they uh, they finally made it to Sturgis. So uh, Indian Larry, I guess, uh, was the people's choice. Uh, he won the competition with the bike that he built versus the bike that Billy. Uh, but the new friendship that Billy and Larry had 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 generated, they said, "F, F that, F the trophy." Give me a friggin' uh, a zip disc in that grinder, and they friggin' cut the trophy up, and they threw pieces of the trophy to the friggin' crowd, and they were loving it. Completely against Discovery's uh, uh, thoughts or rules, and ever since that episode, they made a, a, a rule in the in the in negotiation or in the, the the that you have to sign that you can't cut the trophy up. So, uh, I mean, these two badass chopper builders. Uh, they set the bar. They said F TV, F Hollywood, and they uh, they chopped the trophy up. They went a different route. They they did the things that they wanted to do because they're bikers uh, and they're in, they're biker builders, you know, chopper builders. Um, and I got a much respect for Billy Lane. I watch him, and if you want to check him out, check him out on YouTube. He, he's got the his newest version or his newest. Uh, um, episode on his on his on his fa uh, youtube page uh is him and indian larry and he's telling all the behind the scenes things of how it went and what happened anyway sorry i'm rambling on i'm making this extra long sorry um anyways it's it's just something that i'm into something that i uh i aspire to uh we're just playing with carburetors at the moment and putting pieces on bikes and stuff we're not i'm not welding or cutting or modifying much or anything you know uh, maybe someday um but the the number one thing is we're in the garage we're turning wrenches and we're working on stuff and that's what this channel is for um you know get out and work on something keep the head straight turn some wrenches doesn't matter what you're turning them on doesn't matter at all it could be your anything lawnmower whippersnipper don't matter 
choppers, motorcycles. Anyways, Chopper Social, number four, uh, August 20th, Route 66, uh, Bedford Highway. Vince is uh, going to have the barbecue going, and we're going to have a Chopper Social. Hopefully, uh, we'll see some uh, new faces, and uh, I'll, I'll do the raffle. I'll give out some tickets, and we'll, we'll, we'll draw for the prizes for the donations that I've received. No cost involved. If you bring a bike, you get a ticket. Uh, that's how we're going to do it. And uh, uh, maybe you'll walk away with something. I don't know. Uh, I got some chopper. I got some uh, this old chopper uh, t-shirts. Maybe I'll throw one of them in there. And uh, yeah, whatever. Try to grow the channel and have some fun. Sorry I'm rambling. I'm going to get that on that. I'm going to get the gas tank on it. And I'm going to see if I can get it started. So stand by one more episode. All right. Okay, here we go. Whew. It's all together. It's on the bike. It's on the bike. I had to put a new uh, vacuum hose on that VOS, V-O-E-S, vacuum operated switch. It does something with the timing. Uh, so the C, the carburetor's on, the CV carburetor's on. I got this temporary gas tank hooked up. Uh, it's got a valve on it, right down to the carb. Um, the reason I did that is because uh, if something not still not right with the carb, then I, I don't have to take all the gas tank off because there's not enough room to work on it, if you know what I mean. Anyways, it makes it a lot easier. So I got a temporary gas tank. I had to hook up the switch that's on the console that usually sits right here that has the speedometer. And uh, mm -hmm. so it's all, it's all rigged up. Um, Let's see if I was able to fix the carb or the running problem. It's a running problem. It's not a carb problem. It's a, well, yeah, maybe it is. My initial was a running problem. I thought it was plugs. You know the story. Anyways, let's see what happens. Set you up right here. You can see the bike. Pretty good. I don't know if it's too low or too high. Right there, I guess. All right, so there you go. So, can you see me? You can sort of see me. All right, so gas on. Gas is on. Switch on. Got a neutral. Very good. Oh, I see squirt. I see squirt. All right. Turn it on. Squirt.